what's it say about your veteran players, Guy, that, you know, they've taken in the young guys, Anderson's with Little and Farmington with CC and Stone, of course, and Kachuk. Yeah, it's, it's, that's why, you know, it's been very impressive that way, and that's why we're, we're gelling fast, and, uh, um, the young guys have been developing not just because they're being coached or because they're just getting experience on the ice. It's, there's a big part. It's because they're well surrounded in their every uh, moment of the day thing, like like those guys, and and even the guys who don't have anybody in particular. They are helping here every day, uh, making sure everybody's incorporated as fast as we can, and feeling good about being here and feeling uh, part of it. Um, and it's not just at the rink. I know the boys are real high on having everybody involved. I mean, the other day you had Justin Timberlake concert, and I think every single player was here. Uh, so they don't, they don't want to leave everybody, anybody out, they, and that's that's a great thing. Uh, so right now, in, in terms of our intangibles, there's the, 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 the leaders have done a, a really good job of accelerating it. But that's sure important too. That, that's important too, though, because. You don't want those kids like living on their own. Right? No, yeah. no, no. I know, and and it's not just living on their own. It's sometimes a talk here, talk there, um, helps a lot because you know the, people don't realize how much pressure an NHL player has. And if you're a young guy, you're just learning to deal with it. And if you have a bad game or a bad period, or uh, and you have somebody right away pick, helping to pick yourself up makes a big difference you know one day instead of one week to, to, to get back on track is a huge difference for, for, for these guys um, so yeah in, I mean in junior they're called billets right like yeah in junior they're billets uh, here uh, you know here the, the the leaders are are helping with that and I, I already know some some guys have paid for the young guys to get classes to how to make food for themselves so I mean it just shows you where those guys are in terms of uh, planning those intangibles, and uh, I think it's great because it's 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 that's them, that's that's them doing it, you know, without us pushing things. So that's really good. It's impressive. Are you sure though that it really is a good idea to have a skater living with a goalie? Are you really? <laughs> are you really? Sure? <laughs> yes, yes. You know, when you got somebody like Andy. It's not just the age. I mean, you know, you've you've played on different teams. Very often, you know, when somebody's never played on another team, never seen anything else, and it, it's like somebody who's never traveled. You know, you, you see things on TV. It's, you know, yeah. I had seen Rome many times on TV, but when I got there, oh my goodness! You know, you get a whole different sense of the grandeur of things, and it's the same with the with the NHL. You know, when you got a guy that's been different places, that's had different experiences, and that's. Uh, done well, uh, they see things and, and you just accelerate the growth of somebody just because you're being told things, you, 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 you're being helped in your perspective uh, for the big picture. So it's not about your position, it, it's usually about the big picture. How do you handle the NHL? Uh, until you're in it, until you, you live it, you can't know what it is. And, and as much as you can follow it, whether it was me before I got to the NHL, uh, when you're in it, you know, when the doors close and, and live it every day, you have no clue what it is. And I think those young guys coming in uh, are getting a lot of good help right now.